The best Muslim follows the example of the Prophet, peace be upon him. What are these examples? The example of beauty, the example of kindness, the example of compassion, the example of the duty unto Allah being fulfilled in the best possible way. You know, he was a balance. You know, there is a hadith, a beautiful hadith, explaining how important it is for us to fulfill the rights of everyone. It is a hadith of Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fostered a relationship of brotherhood between him and Salman al-Farisi radiallahu anhu. And Salman al-Farisi noticed that the wife of Abu Darda radiallahu anhu was not really interested in, you know, adorning herself for her husband. Not at all. So he asked her a question, you know, what's going on? Is there something, you know, there's a problem here? And she says, you know, your brother, this Abu Darda, he doesn't really have any interest in anything worldly. Nothing, nothing. So he was a little bit uh, irked by that. He watched Abu Darda. At night he was praying. Praying. Imagine praying. Is prayer a bad thing? No. So Salman al-Farisi gets up and told him, hey, go to sleep. Hey, what do you mean? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. He went to sleep because obviously this man is more knowledgeable. L later on, he gets up. He, he wants to pray again. Salman al-Farisi gets up and says, go to sleep. What do you mean? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. He went to sleep. Second, when, when the last portion of the night was remaining, he says, hey, get up. Now you can pray. So this, he was perplexed. He was wondering, what's going on here? So Salman al-Farisi says, look, my brother, your wife has a right over you. Imagine he's talking about salah, prayer. To stand in prayer, listen carefully because I'm going to draw a very important conclusion to this. To stand in prayer. He's standing in prayer. He's not doing anything bad. It's something really brilliant. It's a plug in with Allah. It's the most important way of plugging in with your maker. Okay. So he's standing in prayer and he's being told, no, your wife comes first. Allahu Akbar. This is voluntary prayer. It's not got to do with farah, right? We're not talking here of that which is compulsory. No, you have a right that you need to fulfill with us. Wallahi. It's not salah. We ignore our wives, our family members, our children just because we're sitting at a coffee shop. We're not talking about salah here, prayer. We're talking about wasting time at a coffee shop. And your wife is busy texting you, hey, and your friends are saying, ah, chicken, chicken. Wallahi, I don't mind being called a chicken for as long as my wife knows how I crow. Subhanallah. I don't mind. I don't mind them calling me whatever name for as long as I have a happy home. Why? I'm the best Muslim. I fulfill the rights. The wife is a first class citizen. The rest of them are only residents. They come and go. Their permits expire as well. You know how it is to renew a permit. Yes. These are citizens. These are proper. That's your spouse. You don't just replace them. That's your family. Those are your children. Irreplaceable. Given by Allah. Those are your parents. But what you were doing. Salman al-Farisi is telling Abu Darda, your prayer, you are praying a little bit too much. Go and fulfill the rights of your wife. Show her some importance. Express to her, and I am telling you, express to her how beautiful she is. Subhanallah. A good Muslim is the one who is best to his family members. Khayrukum. Khayrukum li ahlihi. There's the hadith. We heard it a thousand times, a million times. Wallahi, my brothers, many of us are struggling because we just mediocre Muslims. We say, I'm a Muslim. What's your name? Ah, this is my name. You know, and that's it. And the way you treat your family members, it's like they're nothing, man, nothing. Give them an ear. Listen to them. Look at them in the eye. Tell them you're shining. You know, when I when you're out and the moon is out, I can't see the moon because you're dazzling. Say things. Say things. Subhanallah. Say things. That's the best Muslim. There's the hadith. The best from amongst you is he or she who is best to the spouse. Some of us are so weak, so weak. You know, someone was asking me recently about Valentine's Day. Okay. So what happened? I said, I, as a best Muslim, every day for me is a day of love. I'm in love with who? With my spouse, with my family members. Every day I tell them so many times I love you. I message them. You know, on WhatsApp, you have a heart. You make use of it. Please, to the right people. That heart blows up and suddenly starts pumping. Have you seen it? On WhatsApp, they're helping you. It's something romantic. Send it to the right people. And not only one day in the year, every day. That's your spouse. That's your family. Tell them how beautiful they are.